1922, the British biologist J.B.S. Haldane hypothesized that in a scenario where two different species hybridized and one of the two genders as a result in the hybrids was infertile, that the gender of the infertile individual was likely to be that of the heterogametic sex. Now, heterogametic refers to a gender which produces two types of gametes. In humans, all women put an X chromosome in their ova. So all ova are the same in this regard. So women, therefore, are the homogametic gender. Men, because they have a large X and a small Y chromosome, meiosis results in half the sperm having an X chromosome and half the sperm having a Y chromosome. Thus, the male gametes are different and males are the heterogametic gender, hetero meaning different. Fruit flies, which are often used as a model organism, happen to be like humans in that way, in that the male flies are the heterogametic gender, and we refer to their different chromosomes as X and Y, and the females are the homogametic gender. There is a bit more to the determination of gender uh, in flies, but that does not concern us now. In some organisms, it is the females who are the homogametic gender, such as birds and butterflies. So half of the ova have one type of chromosome, often referred to as the Z chromosome, while the other half possess a W chromosome. In contrast, males are the homogametic gender in birds and butterflies. And it is often observed that in hybridization uh, events between two different species, in cases where one of the two genders is infertile, Haldane was right. It is typically the gender which is heterogametic. Fruit flies are widely studied, and uh, there are a number of genes on the X chromosome known to contribute to this hybrid sterility, which primarily affects males.